I like to think of myself as someone who's pretty neat and organized a majority of the times. I usually put everything back as soon as I'm done using it and I spot clean anything I see immediately. But for some reason, when it comes to digital files, I wait weeks or even months before I even attempt to sort and clean up. And on top of that, I tend to run out of space on my drives fast, especially since I'm creating videos almost every other day for my social platforms. Right now, I edit video projects directly from fast external solid state drives to keep the storage on my MacBook to a minimal. And then they are manually backed up to these other other external drives which are slow and requires hours to transfer. And if one of these drives fail, then I will basically lose all of my files. And that's where a network attached storage or a NAS comes in as a total game changer. Earlier this year, Ugreen just unveiled the next generation of NAS Sync storage solutions at CES and I had the chance to attend and check them out firsthand. These powerful network attached storage devices come in a variety of models to fit your needs whether it's for personal use or in a professional environment. When Ugreen initially announced that they were venturing into the storage sector, I was quite surprised. I've always been a fan of their premium chargers, cables, and accessories, but I never expected them to start offering storage solutions. And their latest range of NAS Sync devices is extremely sleek and maintains the same high quality feel as all of their other products. Despite being a first gen product, the NAS Sync series has received nothing but positive feedback from what I've been seeing. The lineup offers a diverse selection of models extending from 2 bay to 8 bay configurations, ensuring there's a model tailored to meet everyone's requirements. The specifications differ among models, with some boasting faster CPUs than Thunderbolt 4 expansion ports, while others are outfitted with dual 10 gigabit Ethernet network ports. And then there's the 8 bay DXP8800 Plus, which supports a whopping capacity of 184 terabytes. And right now, regardless Regardless of which model you opt for, Ugreen is offering a substantial discount of up to 35% off through their Kickstarter campaign. When you compare the current pricing to that of competitor brands, it's a really good deal. The project was just launched a few weeks ago and it has far exceeded its goal, with an estimated shipping date of June 2024. Well anyhow, in this video we will be focusing specifically on this one, the DXP480T+. I won't be doing a full depth review as I'm a beginner when it comes to using a NAS, but I'll more likely cover the basics of setting it up and how I utilize it for my workflow. In for full disclosure, Ugreen did sponsor this video and provided me with the NAS along with four Samsung 980 Pro 1TB drives. Alright, let's get to the unboxing. The DXP480T Plus maintains the smallest form factor out of the available models because it's an all-flash NAS system that leverages M.2 SSDs for peak performance. It has an all-aluminum body and it's powered by a 12th generation Intel Core i5 processor. It comes with 8GB of memory and has two slots expandable up to 64GB if there's ever a need to upgrade. With four slots that support up to 4TB M.2 SSDs each, you can configure it for a maximum capacity of 16TB. Ugreen also included four thermal cooling pad in the box but I was rushing on the last one and ended up tearing it a bit. Hopefully it won't affect the performance. On the back of the NAS there is a 10 gigabit port, two Thunderbolt 4, and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 that offers speeds up to 10 gigs per second. There's also an HDMI port that we will get into later. The initial setup was pretty straightforward and easy to navigate as the software guided me through everything. For someone who has never set up a NAS before, I was able to follow the setup wizard within the desktop application and just selected all of the options that was recommended to me. I went with the RAID 5 which will provide me with about 2.6TB of storage and allow for only a single drive failure. So if one drive fails, I'll be able to replace it and not risk losing my data. But if two drives fail, then all of my data will be lost. Hopefully, that won't happen. What I plan on using this device for is to back up all of my published media because right now they are pretty scattered across various drives. I want a centralized hub that enables seamless file access and transfer from anywhere in the world without having to pay a monthly fee for cloud storage. The interface on the Ugreen operating system was quite easy to use and navigate. You can rearrange the icon simply by clicking and dragging them around. In the top right hand corner, if you click on your profile photo, you can adjust the size of the icons, restart, shut down, or log out. You can also change the wallpaper by uploading your own or select one from the default ones that were included. All of these look pretty good, but I think I'll go with this one. The first thing I wanted to do was to move some files from my MacBook to the NAS so that my desktop won't look as cluttered. There are a few ways to transfer the files. You can use the file manager within the Ugreen software, right click the folder you want to upload to and select the files, or you can drag the files from your desktop directly to the folder. To monitor the progress of ongoing transfers, simply click on the task center icon located at the top right corner. 
Now if you're using a Mac, you can also transfer files by locating the NAS in the sidebar under locations. This is the method that I prefer because it's effortless and very similar to using something like Google Drive or iCloud. I did a test to see how long it would take to transfer a folder that's almost 17 gigabytes and it was about 5 minutes. For context, I have a gigabit internet service, my MacBook is connected wirelessly to a 5 GHz network, and the NAS is currently hardwired to the main router. I crunched the numbers and it turns out the transfer rate is approximately 55.1 MB per second, which seems quite efficient considering the MacBook is using a Wi-Fi connection. And the Ugreen software offers the convenience of app downloads, which I find quite useful. In the time I've spent exploring this unit over the past two weeks, I've noticed at least one or two new apps have been added. Apps like the control panel makes it easy to manage users enable remote access and tweak settings like fan speed among numerous other features. And if you launch the task manager, you can see stats for things like network speed, memory usage, and the CPU temperature. It's also worth noting that while the enclosure often feels warm, it never becomes excessively hot. So if you plan on storing this model in a cabinet or something similar, just know that the heat shouldn't be an issue. If you take a look at the bottom panel, you'll find dual integrated fans that operate pretty quietly with plenty of vents located on the bottom, sides, and back. And of course, this NAS wouldn't be complete without the capability of automatically backing up and syncing whichever device or directory you want to set up. I'm still undecided if I want to designate a folder on my MacBook for automatic syncing or opting for manual file transfer, because ultimately my goal is to minimize storage on the MacBook to conserve space. So I've covered quite a bit about the desktop application, but it's worth mentioning that the Ugreen NASing series also features a mobile app. Although still in beta, the mobile app has been performing decently. There are, however, a few minor issues that I did encounter. For instance, the app lacks a dark mode, and the photo Total search option is very limited. I've tried a few keywords like car or water and it didn't really work. The only thing that did work was the word building. I'm sure with future updates the feature will most likely be improved. Essentially with the mobile app you have all of the functionalities of the desktop application at your fingertips including the option to automatically back up your mobile device or manually upload and access your files effortlessly. But overall viewing photos and videos was quite fast without any delays. You have the flexibility to organize your media using folders, albums, by people and and location tagging. Now let's turn our attention to the rear ports. When I initially unboxed the DXP 480T Plus and noticed the dual Thunderbolt 4 ports, I immediately assumed that I would be able to connect my MacBook to one of these ports and access the NAS directly. But in actuality, these ports were only intended for connecting additional drives to the NAS and the Thunderbolt 4 ports feature speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. And any storage devices connected to these ports will allow you to access them wirelessly through the Ugreen app. The DXP 480T Plus also features an HDMI port capable of supporting up to 8K resolution. What this functionality offers is the convenient casting of videos from the Ugreen app to an external screen. With this capability, you can seamlessly link the NAS to your television and leverage it as a media center. And you can use the Ugreen app as a remote to navigate through your media directory. Well anyways, I hope this video was informative to some of you and if you have any questions about the DXP 480T Plus, please drop me a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. In the meantime, thanks for watching and have a great day.